Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so this is just a short video to uh, kind of give you an idea what um, literals are in programming. So you're going to hear this word literals um, either from programmers or you, you know, you're know you going to hear it around in programming. You're going to even see error messages that use the word literals um, in, the, in the error messages themselves. And what a literal is, um, is, um, is basically a value that's written into your program, okay? Any value that is written into your program. So, for example, when you create a variable and you call it, for example, um, number of books, and you set the value to 14, let's create another variable, number of apples, set it to 6, create another variable of type string, like let's create a string variable, let's say full name is equal to Remember, strings go in double quotation, so I'm going to say uh, random name here. And then I can use a print function to print out the content of, let's say, number of books. And I can create another print function, for example, to print out the content of full name. And in that second, in this second print function, let's say I want to pass in multiple arguments, so I can pass in another argument, let's say, number of apples. So when you have a simple program like this, that doesn't necessarily make sense, right? <laughs> Any value that's written into your program. So 14, right, is a, is a value of number of books. It's a value. So in that case, it's, it's, a, it's a literal. Six is also a value. In that case, it's a, it's a literal. Random name is also a value. That's the value of the variable full name. So it's a literal. Well, in this case, you would call this a, nu a numeric literal, uh, a another numeric literal. And this is a string literal, right? Um, you can create another variable. Let's see. Um, 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 let's see. Uh, I, uh, this variable that I'm about to create is going to get into float, which I'm, I'm about to cover. But let's just do it. I'm going to cr um, create a variable, say pi. <laughs> I, I almost typed pi. Pi, we know the value is somewhere around 3.14 something. Let, let's just leave it here. Now this value over here is you know you you we know it as decimal a decimal, but really in programming what it what it is it's it's called a float, right? So in this case this would be is a value so this will be called a floating point, literal, right? We'll talk more about floats, um, in in uh, future videos, but a literal is basically a value that's written into your program, you know that's it. So when you when you when you encounter stuff like that or encounter names like that you just know what it is. Now, when I run this program, it, it works perfectly, right? Remember, um, in some videos back, we had an error message where we were talking about variables. We said variables, what's on the right is what's stored in what's on the left, right? And not the other way around. So if we flip this to 3.14 and then we change it to, to pi, we are going to get an error. And guess what the error says? Well, well this is a syntax error. Um, that, this is a syntax error, but I'm trying to reproduce that error we, we got the other time. Let's change this to a, a, an integer. So let's say 6 and see what happens. Run. Run again. Syntax error. Okay, so actually I didn't see this. So th this is the same error. Let's undo it. Okay. Right, so we're, we, we, you can't do this, right? What, because what's on the right is what's stored on, uh, stored in what's on the left. So in this case, you're trying to store the you know these two letters pi in 3.14 and it's saying over here can't assign to literal mean meaning you can't assign it, it's trying to assign this value to, to the literal because it's a value right 3.14 but it can't assign it's having a diff it's having difficulty uh, doing that and so this is just to show you that this 3.14 is a value because you can't assign this value okay I can't assign this pi to to this literal over here so this is just a, a way to point point it out to you and so yes, um, a, var a literal is basically a value that you write into any value that you write into your program. All right. So if you have any questions, please um, let me know um, in the comments sections down below, and I'll do everything to um, everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye bye.